slimy veggies, and meat you wouldn't feed to your enemy's dog. When it comes to these dollar store canned staples, we recommend ditching the tin. Collard greens are one type of canned food you shouldn't put on your dollar store shopping list. Collard greens themselves are nutritious vegetables. The greens are high in vitamins and nutrients, such as fiber, iron, and vitamin A. Cooked collard greens are a typical side dish popular in southern recipes. And with the canned version, the greens come pre-cooked, allowing you to save time. Despite these positive aspects, buying this canned good is not worth it. Canned vegetables, such as collard greens, lose some health-boosting properties when packed in brine. Unfortunately, this is the case with Chestnut Hill's seasoned collard greens sold at Family Dollar. This particular product is packed with salty, briny water to give it its seasoned quality. The same goes for Glory Food seasoned collard greens sold at Dollar General. To make matters worse, canned collard greens like these can be purchased for lower prices at traditional grocery stores, such as Walmart. Although it's a vegetable, you shouldn't buy canned asparagus at the dollar store if you can help it. Fresh asparagus is an antioxidant-rich piece of produce that keeps your eyes healthy and prevents blood clots. But the diminished nutritional profile of canned asparagus may outweigh the vegetable's natural health benefits. Canned asparagus usually comes with added salt and sometimes reaches shocking levels. This is the case with Lady Liberty's canned asparagus sold by Family Dollar, which contains 14% of the daily recommended serving of sodium. Additionally, the canned stuff has less fiber, less protein, and fewer nutrients than the fresh stuff. Canning asparagus also worsens its appearance and texture. For one, you lose all that natural crunch. Additionally, the veggie becomes an off-putting brownish green once canned. We're laying into the humble asparagus pretty hard here, but facts are facts. Nobody has ever asked a puma its opinion or a stalk of asparagus how it feels. Either way, since Dollar General sells its product for over $3 per can, you can find cheaper and better asparagus elsewhere. Another type of food best avoided at the dollar store is deviled ham. This canned meat is used as a sandwich spread, and the recipe has remained mostly the same since the 1800s. Deviled ham usually consists of ground ham that's been deviled or had spices added to it. Although it may sound okay, deviled ham is something you'll want to avoid at the dollar store due to its poor nutritional value and, frankly, unsightly appearance. You're better off making your own deviled ham. The canned version is high in sodium nitrate, salt, and sugar, which are used to cure the meat. According to Healthline, excessive consumption of sodium nitrate has been linked to diseases like colorectal cancer. Canned deviled ham products can also be extremely high in fat. While the taste may make up for this in some people, others won't be able to get past the appearance, which is similar to wet cat food. If you come across deviled ham at the dollar store, we say skip it. My mom always gives me meat sandwiches to keep me going. Like ham. Canned green beans are another vegetable that you'd be better off buying fresh from the grocery store. Fresh green beans are extremely high in vitamin K, which is useful for maintaining strong bone health. Plus, fresh green beans are far from pricey. But while canned green beans may still help you with your vitamin K intake, these preserved vegetables come with additional downsides. As Food Insight explains, canned green beans are lower in protein, while the amount of salt skyrockets. Such is the case with Del Monte canned green beans sold at Family Dollar, in which one serving contains 16% of your daily recommended sodium intake. While some people may prefer the soggy, discolored green beans found inside the canned version, we're betting that most people do not. If so, skip the canned stuff. 
A typical Sloppy Joe recipe consists of ground beef coated in a sauce made of ingredients like ketchup, mustard, Worcester sauce, salt, and sugar, then placed between two hamburger buns. When you buy canned Sloppy Joe sauce, though, you mainly just get the juices meant to season your ground beef. All slop, no Joe. Have some more Sloppy Joes! <laughs> I made them extra sloppy for you! Made fresh, sloppy joe sauce isn't that bad nutritionally. The main ingredient is typically tomatoes, which are high in nutrients like potassium, vitamin A, and vitamin C. Of course, that's in their fresh state. You lose a lot of that when tomatoes come canned or in a ketchup-like substance, which is the case with Manwich Sloppy Joe sauce sold by Family Dollar. The product is also very high in sugar, containing about 12% of your daily recommended intake per serving. To avoid these negative factors, if you have the time, we recommend going to a traditional grocery store to make your Sloppy Joe sauce from scratch. It will be fresher and healthier, and really isn't much more expensive. For some people, gravy is not just a Thanksgiving Day treat. Gravy can be used to spruce up dishes like steak, mashed potatoes, and biscuits at any time of year. For those looking to add a splash of gravy to their weeknight dinner, canned gravy seems like a useful hack for shortening time in the kitchen. However, we don't recommend buying pre-made gravy, especially not from the dollar store. For starters, canned dollar store gravy is, spoiler alert, going to have a whole lot of salt. But by far, the biggest downside is the flavor. The canned stuff just doesn't taste as good, and let's be honest, few things in the world taste as good as homemade gravy. Why give that up? Chicken and Dumplings is a classic, affordable meal that's popular across America. In fact, it's a dish that's so common across the country that there are multiple variations and arguments concerning its origin story. But there are a few things about it that we can all agree on regarding chicken and dumplings. The dish consists of chicken, flour-based dumplings, and broth, all of which are found in canned versions. However, buying this from the dollar store is not going to yield a similar home-cooked feel. You can always get around the high salt content by buying the low-sodium versions of this canned product, but those may not be available among the limited options at the dollar store. The Swanson Chicken and Dumplings sold by Dollar Tree come with 990 milligrams of sodium per serving, amounting to 43% of your daily recommended sodium intake. The dollar store doesn't even have competitive pricing for this particular item. Walmart sells a larger can for less money. Potted meat doesn't have the best name for a food. It doesn't have much going on for it at all. But if you must try this outdated form of canned meat, don't do it at the dollar store, where cans may have stayed on the shelves so long they've become expired. If there's one thing worse than potted meat, it's expired potted meat. Potted meat is more of an umbrella term that can be used to mean a few different things, but in general, it refers to meat that's cured, smoked, and spiced. The brand Armour's Potted Meat, sold at Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and Family Dollar, is made the same way. The two main types of meats used are chicken and pork. However, what's contained inside those cans no longer resembles anything you've eaten before. Potted meat looks like it's meant for animals, not humans. It's also non-nutritious, containing more than 20% of your daily recommended servings of cholesterol, sodium, fat, and saturated fat per serving. You probably shouldn't bother with this type of canned food at the dollar store or anywhere else. Compared to some dollar store canned foods, canned beef stew almost seems like a normal choice. But if you're really hungry the next time you're there, just get something else. The canned beef stew made by affordable brands like Dinty Moore contains shockingly high levels of most stuff that people consider unhealthy. This canned beef stew is loaded with sodium, cholesterol, fat, and saturated fat. The only time we'd recommend looking for this shelf-stable food is to sustain yourself in the event of a natural disaster. And even then, eating this stuff should only come as a necessity. 
In terms of taste, canned beef stew doesn't have a great track record. On Dollar Tree's website, customers tore the store's canned Southgate beef stew to shreds. One person wrote, Smells bad, tastes bad, and looks bad. I'm not a picky eater at all, and I thought this was just plain nasty. One more Dollar Tree customer simply said, That was not edible. Reviews for Dollar General's canned beef stew were nearly as bad. If you must get canned food at the dollar store, put this at the bottom of your list. Mostly due to their diminished taste compared to the real thing, we don't recommend buying canned tamales from the dollar store. Authentic Mexican tamale recipes are a somewhat time-consuming food that, when traditionally made, requires the laborious task of making your own masa dough. It also requires gathering traditional ingredients like corn husks and ancho chilies, which may be difficult to find at some grocery stores in the United States. The length of time preparing tamales is what makes them a special occasion food, often enjoyed around the holidays. All of this serves to say that canned tamales will not compare to the real thing. One blogger took the time to point out the many flaws within Hormel's canned tamales, which is the brand sold by Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, and Dollar General. The blog complained that the canned tamales came wrapped in tiny pieces of wax paper, which had to be removed before reheating. The tamales themselves were also smaller than usual. Each was about the size of a cigar. In terms of both flavor and texture, the dish was subpar. As the report says, the masa fell apart and the sauce wasn't spicy. Even if you find the taste acceptable, Hormel's canned tamales contain 82% of your daily recommended sodium intake per can. This product is definitely one to skip over at the dollar store. Canned is not the best format in which to eat chili. The meat in canned chili is often low quality, making it less tasty and nutritious. Thanks to the latest budget cuts, I'm down to using grade F meat. This is more likely to be true with canned chili products made without turkey, which is the case with the Southgate chili sold at Dollar Tree and the Hormel canned chili sold at Family Dollar. Both of those products are made with beef and pork rather than turkey. Additionally, canned chili is high in sodium and saturated fat. With both of the aforementioned Dollar Store chili products, this is true. Canned chili may not necessarily be bad, but if your only options are made by the low-quality brands sold at the dollar store, it's not a good option. Also, you're likely to find better prices for canned chili at a traditional grocery store. Dollar General and Family Dollar sell their canned chili products for around $2 per can. However, you can easily find cans of chili sold for less than $2 at Walmart or other supermarkets. If you're looking to feed yourself or your family some vegetables but happen to be shopping at the dollar store, grabbing a can of pre-packed produce can seem like a good idea. Because food insecurity and food deserts are real, ongoing issues, if this is your only source of produce, then any vegetable is better than none. Unfortunately, however, there are a lot of factors that separate canned and fresh veggies. For starters, canned vegetables are visually much worse than the real thing. The color of every vegetable becomes dulled, unlike its natural self. Then, every piece is coated in a layer of shiny, slimy film. To top it all off, every vegetable is softened from being stored in a can of preservatives. Despite their best efforts, all the sodium nitrate in the world can't keep a carrot from getting mushy in a can. While they may still offer some of their original nutrients, vegetables from a can are not as good as the fresh stuff. These items contain less of certain beneficial vitamins and more unhealthy preservatives. As we said, if you are faced with no other option, then buy this canned food. But if you have the potential to score fresh vegetables and fruit, we recommend skipping this tin.